My math skills are on point, but the, that, that math's not happening up here. So I got my calculator. It's the old school. It's probably from like the 90s. This calculator has seen millions of dollars worth of exchanges and math on it. I just, uh, I'm gonna ride with it until it dies. Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're getting it. Eric Castellanos here from Amazon Lit. We're crushing it on our end at Amazon. Just killing the Amazon game, making tons of money, really doing big things on our end. I hope you're doing big things on your end as well, and we're here to help. So today we're gonna to talk about pick and pack fees. And it's super important to understand pick and pack fees. And why is it super important to understand pick and pack fees? Because it's part of the business, right? Whether you're selling on Amazon already, you're established, you're just getting started, or you wanna get started selling on Amazon, it's an integral part of the fee structure Structure when you sell on Amazon through FBA, which is fulfilled by Amazon. And the pick and pack fees, also known as shipping costs, or simply FBA fees, are the fees that Amazon charges to ship your product, Prime, from their FBA fulfillment center to the customer. And it varies. There's about seven different tiers, and we're gonna talk about those. And it's super important to grasp these pick and pack fees. And the way we train our buying team and, and basically everybody in our company um, who has a say in what happens here, which is about half of the people, um, we train them to be able to look at a listing. We have weekly meetings where we will throw a, a product up there, just give them the weight and the dimension, and I expect them to throw me back what the cost of shipping would be, right? No FBA calculator, no AMZ scout calculator. Like, that shit's beneficial, right but what if one day that doesn't exist anymore or what about like us when we started six years ago it didn't exist at all we had to understand these pick and pack fees and and I want my buying team to understand them to a T so when when I throw them a dimension out and I throw them a, a weight they're able to rattle off the pick and pack fee now that is an exceptional buyer and that's the place that you guys need to be and you girls need to be in order to grow your FBA business so you could just look at a product know what you're getting it for know how much it weighs and what it's dimension is and do some mental math and take off the referral fee pick and pack fee item cost and get your left with um, gross profit right and the gross profit is is profit before expenses so the first fee we're going to talk about is oversize it's super important to understand oversize so you can eliminate those products from the further discussion we're about to have so pick and pack fees And the oversized dimensions are eight inches on its smallest side, by 14 inches on its medium side, by 18 inches on its longest side. So back to this tree example, this tree on its longest side, and even on its medium side, surpasses these dimensions right here, 18 inches. This tree, I'm about six feet tall, so this tree is about six feet tall. Um, it's wider than 14 inches. Uh, so this tree would be considered an oversized product if you were to send it to Amazon. Now, let's, uh, let's look at an example here of what oversized dimensions kind of look like. So let's say, for example, you had a product that was seven inches by 14.5 inches by 16 inches. Now, is this an oversized product or not? Well, let's look at the numbers, right? The numbers tell us everything. It's a, it's, it's a super simple process and it's so important to understand the numbers and what you're looking at and why Amazon gives these requirements and these dimensional requirements or actual weight requirements. So just looking at that, the smallest side, seven inches is not greater than eight inches. So this doesn't um, meet the oversized dimension requirements. But this one, the medium size, is 14 and a half inches, which is greater than 14 inches. 
And now the, the longest side, which we don't even have to look at anymore because this also uh, instantly eliminates this product from being uh, a large standard or small standard product. It's instantly an oversized product, right? Because this dimension is greater than this dimension. So regardless that this dimension is less and this dimension is less, doesn't matter because all it takes is one of these sides to be over this minimum requirement and the product is considered oversized. So now that we understand oversize a little bit, and if you ever have any questions about these uh, fulfillment fees, that little search bar in the top right of your Amazon Seller Central, that is like Amazon God, right? That is like where everything is and all the information that you need to sell on Amazon is provided for you. So if you just type in fulfillment fees, and I think it's under the box that pops up, it's the first link and you click on it and you expand it, which I'll show you later in this video how to do that, all, all this information will populate, right? I, I'm not just pulling this out of thin air, like this is information that I've taught myself because Amazon provided it to me. And now it changes every year, so you have to teach and reteach yourself, but it's, it's the best way to optimize your growth on Amazon is to understand these fees. So the first tier, when it's not an oversized product, the first tier is small standard 10 ounces or less. So small standard 10 ounces or less. Right? And the cost to ship a product small standard 10 ounces or less is $2.41. Right? And now what is a small standard product? A small standard product is something that's not oversized, right? It's 10 ounces or less. And what makes it small standard is that on its smallest side, on its shortest side, it is in less than one inch. So an example of a small standard product would be something like this Blistex right here. So this Blistex, if I was to send this to Amazon FBA, it's the Deep Renewal Blistex. Um, it's probably, I don't know, four inches by three inches, but this smallest dimension here is less than an inch. So this product would be considered small standard, 10 ounces or less, and it would cost $2.41 to have Amazon ship this product from their fulfillment center direct to the customer. Now the next category we have is small standard, 10 ounces to 16 ounces. And the fee Amazon charges for this is $2.48. So an example of a small standard 10 ounces to 16 ounces is let's say now you got a two pack of this Blistex, right? And you, and you package them like this so it's still less than one inch on its smallest side, so it's still a small standard product, but now instead of weighing 10 ounces or less, it actually weighs more than 10 ounces, but less than a pound. So it would be considered small standard, 10 ounces to 16 ounces, and it would cost 248. And there's something that we're gonna find out looking at these numbers. So this is a difference of seven cents, right? The, these two numbers here, the 241 and the 248, is a difference of seven cents. And in the next two categories, the next two tiers, it's actually a difference of nine cents. And what Amazon did from 2018 to 2019 is they added this 10 ounces to 16 ounces, small standard category. It used to just be 16 ounces or less, small standard was $2.41. But then they eliminated that 16 ounces, changed it to 10 ounces, and then they created this 10 ounces to 16 ounces and added this additional tier, which is an additional seven cents. And you may not think seven cents is a lot, but when you're charging seven cents on millions and millions of orders, you're making, you're putting some money in the bank, definitely some money in the bank, right? And what's also super important to understand is Amazon, when you look at the uh, fulfillment fees sheet that they describe, and when you click in the search bar, type in fulfillment fees, they also explain that they can add four ounces to any small or large standard product, right? And why is this important to understand? Because the way I look to, like to look at it is 0.75, right? 0.75 when you're calculating this four ounces is like the magic number. And why is 0.75 the magic number? Because four ounces is 
0.25 of a pound, right? There's 16 ounces in a pound, so four or 16 divided by four is 0.25. So the reason why 0.25 is a magic number is because if you get a weight that comes in at 0.75 pounds, which is 12 ounces, and that's the actual weight of the product, Amazon will add this four ounces for packaging, and now this will become one pound, and Amazon, because they did plus 0.25 for packaging, and Amazon will now consider this because it's now greater than one pound, it will actually fall into the category that follows this, and it will be a completely different fee. Now that's super important because if this was 1.75, you add that 0.25 and it becomes two pounds. Right, so anytime you hit that 0.75 or 12 ounces, that's when you're getting rounded up to the next pound because Amazon's charging or adding an additional four ounces for packaging. So the next category we have is large standard ten ounces or less. And the cost to ship a product that falls into this tier is three dollars and nineteen cents. Now the only difference between the large standard and small standard, 10 ounces or less, as you can see their weight is the same, 10 ounces or less, 10 ounces or less. But what's different is this one's small standard and this one large standard. So this one is less than one inch on its shortest side and the large standard is greater than one inch on its largest side. The next category we have here is large standard. Ten ounces to 16 ounces. And the cost to ship a product in this category is $3.28. And now, if you're noticing a trend here, Amazon once again created a whole additional uh, category or tier in 2019. Just like they did for small standard, they added 10 ounces or less and changed this from 16 ounces or less to 10 ounces or less. Um, they also did the same thing here where they added this additional tier and separated it from just 16 ounces or less to now 10 ounces or less and 10 to 16 ounces and they add an additional nine cents. So here they're getting you for seven cents, here they're getting you for nine cents and it's not our responsibility to question why they're doing that. I know why they're doing that because they're a profitable business and they're making power moves and optimizing their, their shipping and uh, it's a, a genius idea and it's, it's our responsibility to understand the fee structure and work within them and navigate around them and, and know them so we can become better buyers, better sellers, better purchasers, better third-party companies, and our customers will appreciate us more for it. Um, so the next category we have is large standard, one to two pounds. And the fee Amazon charges for large standard one to two pounds is $4.76. Now, an example, a, a, a good product that is like a perfect example of a large standard one to two pound product is something like, uh, it's gonna be a lot of your conditioners if you sell in the beauty uh, category, a lot of your shampoos. It's going to be a lot of uh, your food products like a box of fruit snacks or a bag of chips, right? And the reason why is because a lot of these products come as, not this one, but a lot of them come as like 16 ounces, right? 16 fluid ounces. Um, and then, but that's 16 ounces of product inside the package. And what they're not calculating um, in that 16 ounces on the package is how much the bottle weighs. The additional four ounces that Amazon can add, and now it becomes 1.5 pounds, and it falls into this large standard one to two pounds category, and Amazon charges 476. It's a super common category uh, for, for FBA fees. We, we have a lot of products that cost 476 to send. And here's an example um, of a product that Amazon would charge 476. It's a uh, 18 ounce Pantene Pro-V product. And you know, 18 ounces, you add the uh, 0.25 ounces, you're still, you're not at 1.75 pounds yet, so you don't have to round it up to two pounds. It falls into the large standard one to two pounds, and it costs 476 cents, four dollars and 76 cents to ship. And our next category is large standard, 
two to three pounds, and the fulfillment fee for this tier is five dollars and twenty six cents. So here we got the ultimate snack care package uh, by Frito Lay. And just looking at this listing, it looks like it's selling for $18.99, as you can see over here. But what we want to focus on here is what we've been talking about in the, on the whiteboard. And that's going to the seller's app calculator, which is owned by Amazon. And you can see here that underneath the description, or the title rather, it gives you the actual dimensions of the product and the dimensions are 7.9 inches by 13.5 inches by 15.8 inches and then directly under that is the actual weight of the product right and the actual weight of the product is 4.7995 pounds now the actual weight is not including that four ounces or 0.25 pounds that Amazon adds for packaging. So that's something to keep in mind. And what I'll show you on the whiteboard is how this, this product here, its actual weight actually brings it to six pounds because when you add that 0.25 pounds, it becomes a number greater than five. So Amazon rounds up to the next nearest pound, which is six pounds. So if this product was charged FBA fees by the actual weight, the FBA fees would be charged at six pounds. But because I know, just from looking at the pick and pack fee and understanding this listing, that Amazon's actually using the dimensional weight. So they're using the 7.9 by 13.5 by 15.8. We can actually see that the pick and pack fee they're charging is $9.06. And there's a way to reverse engineer this number right and actually figure out what the what the weight Amazon's calculating um, this product at to kind of see where'd my calculator go to kind of see and figure out how they got this number we'll reverse engineer it and then we'll just regular break it down through math this dimensional calculation on the whiteboard when we get back to that so if we do nine dollars and six cents and we subtract that large standard three to 21 pounds first charge for the first three pounds. So we subtract 906 minus 528 and we get $3.78. And then we divide that by 0.38, we actually get 9.94 pounds, right? So that's essentially 10 pounds. Um, and then if we add the three pounds, it looks like when we do plus three here, it looks like Amazon's calculating this product at 13 pounds. And that's based on this. And we could also do some quick dimensional calculations, which I'll elaborate on um, on the whiteboard. But some dimensional calculations for this product would be 7.9, which is the length, times the width, which is 13.5, times the height, which is 15.8, and then you divide this number by 139 and it gives you 12.12 pounds. And then you add the 0.25 ounces and you're at 12.27 pounds and they round that up to 13 pounds and you do the math on that based on the information provided that we discussed on the whiteboard and you get this number, this pick and pack fee of $9.06. So essentially based on the dimensions of this product and the fact that Amazon's using the dimensional weight for this product, this pick and pack fee of $9.06 is absolutely correct. All right, so let's go back to the whiteboard and we'll break down these calculations for you so you can get a better understanding for it and you can do it yourself when you're calculating FBA fees. All right, so we just looked at the ultimate snack care package. We saw its dimensional weight. We saw its actual weight. And now I'm gonna explain the importance of those numbers. And that app we were using, like I explained in the video, were, was the seller's app. And that's the app that's directly correlated with the Amazon um, app, the seller's app that you use on your cell phone. So that's the widget from the seller's app. So the fees are most accurate through that app. And we use some other Chrome extensions as you saw in that video. And the, But the one we use for dimensions and actual weight is the seller's app because it's connected to Amazon. It's definitely the best. So let me erase this up here. Um, and then we'll get started on dimensional weight versus actual weight. All right, so I just erased the board. 
Don't be concerned, search bar, fulfillment fees, expand it. It's got everything that we just talked about. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the large standard, three pounds to 21 pounds up here because this is what we're about to be working with with the Ultimate Snack Hair Package. Large standard, three pound to 21 pound, 526, first three pounds, 0 0.38 cents, additional pound. Right, so first things first, dimensional weight. What is dimensional weight? How do you calculate dimensional weight? How do you figure it out, right? And uh, this is something that could be found, once again, in the search bar. Type in fulfillment fees, type in dimensional weight. A bunch of different results will pop up. Do some clicking around and you can find it, right? It's super simple and Amazon gives us all the answers. All the answers are on Amazon. So dimensional weight. Let's write that down here. So dimensional weight, it's a simple calculation. It's length times width times height divided by 139. Now why 139? I know UPS, FedEx, they use 144. Um, but Amazon uses 139 and to me once again just like the additional 77 cent increase in the small standard or the the nine cent increase in the large standard um, it makes a lot of sense because whenever you divide a number by a smaller number you get a bigger outcome so that's actually going to increase their fees for shipping weights by dividing this by a, lar a smaller number it's, ju it's just basic math so the dimensions we had for the ultimate snack care package were 7.9 by 13.5 by 15.8. Now how do we calculate the dimensional weight? We plug these numbers into this equation. So we're going to do this multiplication 7.9 times 13.5 times 15.8 and we're going to divide that result by 139. Um, so 7.9 times 13.5 times 15.8, which is length times width times height, equals 1,685.07. 1,685.07, and now we divide that by 139, and we get 12.12 pounds. So 12.12 pounds, dimensional weight. dimensional weight right now we can't forget that we have to add the 0.25 ounces that Amazon adds for packaging so if we add 0 0.25 ounces this new dimensional weight is going to become 12.37 pounds we always want to add that four ounces because sometimes that could take you to the next the next pound and that's an additional 38 cents right and you're probably questioning i know i question how did i divide inches how did i divide a measurement by a number and it turned into a weight right and that's just how amazon operates right in a lot of shipping companies it's just it's just how the math works so we divide the dimensions length times width times height divided by 139 and we get a dimensional weight which is now this number right and now we're going to look at the actual weight which the actual weight was given to us in the seller's app extension and the actual weight of this product was 4.7995 pounds. Right? So just looking at these two numbers, we're looking for the greater number. Is the actual weight greater or is the dimensional weight? In this case, the dimensional weight is greater. So this is the one that Amazon is using to calculate the shipping cost. But what we're gonna do here real quick is we're gonna figure out what the actual weight is versus the dimensional weight. Even though the dimensional weight is the, the FBA fee that we're being charged for this product, I just wanna look at, just so you can understand what the actual weight is. So the actual weight 
this is a perfect example of where the where the packaging takes it to that next level. So we got 4.7995 pounds plus 0 0.25, 5.04. 95 pounds right and this is a perfect example and this is why I wanted to show you this this is a perfect example where Amazon adding that additional four ounces four ounces for packaging this is a perfect example of them four ounces for packaging taking this actual weight of the product to the next pound which is an additional 38 cents so if we do some quick math on this we got 528 for the first three pounds um, this would actually be rounded to six pounds, so there's an additional three pounds here. So we got three times 0 .38, 0 .38 times three, which is 114. So 528 plus 114 is... What is that? Uh, 28, that's 38, 42, 642. So the actual, if Amazon was charging the actual weight of this product for, if it, the actual weight was the greater number, the FBA fee for this product would be 642, right? But we're not interested in that. Just wanted to show you, because this was a great example of a product that weight, its actual weight with the uh, four ounces added, brings it to the next pound. And instead of being charged five pounds, rounding that up, it would actually be charged six pounds. That's a prime example of that. But so let's take this 12.37. All right, so dimensional weight, right? This is what Amazon is using for this product because the dimensional weight for the ultimate snack care package is greater than the actual weight. And the dimensional weight we already before added those 0.25 pounds or four ounces to that number that we got by the uh, multiplying the length times the width times the height, dividing it by 139. And then we added the four ounces for the packaging because that's what Amazon does. And we got our end result, which is 12.37 pounds and Amazon rounds that up to 13 pounds so we got five dollars and 26 cents for the first three pounds right 526 for the first three pounds and now we have an additional 10 pounds that need to be multiplied by 38 cents so plus 10 times 0 0.38 which is equal to three dollars and eighty cents so now we're going to add that three dollars and eighty cents to this five dollars and twenty six cents, and the final FBA fee for this number, drum roll please, is nine dollars and six cents. Right, and when we were looking at the Sellers Act Chrome extension, that was the FBA fee. So if you're wondering how Amazon just pulls these numbers out, they're not pulling them out. It's all algorithmic based. It's all math, basic multiplication, division, addition. And this is how they're figuring it out. Right, and so many times I would email Amazon, hey Amazon, send them to ASIN. Hey Amazon, I was reviewing my products and uh, I'm supposed to be, be charged $6.40 for this product, but you're charging me $9.06 for this product. You're robbing me, I'm getting robbed. Send them a, an angry email with a thank you at the bottom because it's trying to always be nice to seller support they deal with. When I think about the complaints seller support deals with from the millions of sellers, oh my God, it blows my mind. But uh, I would send them that email and they would respond with this weight, but never an explanation of why it was that, that weight. Once in a while, they'll send the email with the explanation, but very few times you get an explanation. They just tell you the weight or the, or the fees. And, uh, but now you know, now I know, and now there's no excuse why any of your products should be getting overcharged, or if you are getting overcharged, you can't do this simple process and figure out what you should be getting charged and submit a discrepancy report for those overcharged pick and pack fees and then get refunded for that money, reimbursed for that money, because that money is yours. As a third party seller, it is all about understanding the fees, understanding the fee structure, right? Like I said earlier, you wanna to get to a point, I want my buyers to get to the point, I am at the point where I can just look at a product, look at a product, know its weight or approximate weight and be within, you know, a 38 cents give or take 
for FBA fees, know its listing price, know what category it's in, so I know if I'm being charged a 15% referral fee or an 8% referral fee, subtract those numbers, so I'm taking the listing price, subtracting the referral fee, I'm subtracting the pick and pack fee, and then I'm subtracting my item cost, and I'm getting my gross profits, right? And then, to even understand your company's health further, you should understand your expenses, so then you can subtract those expenses from that gross profit and you can get your net profit. And the net profit, there's a lot of people pumping huge numbers on Amazon, ourselves included, and the most important number at the end of the day is your net profit. What do you bring in home after you pay your electric bill? You know, you pay the, the the jacklift guy, the forklift guy to come fix your forklift, which we just had happen today, cost us about 1200 bucks, right? You pay your warehouse bill, um, you, you buy shipping labels, you buy boxes, you buy tape, you pay your two employees, you pay your 20 employees, you pay your 40 employees, you know, you, you pay your shipping to Amazon. Like all of those are expenses and they're all added up. And there's a way which we'll talk about. And if you want to, if you can't wait for the video, you could always book a consultation with us. But where we actually break down your company's health, and we'll tell you what what kind of products you need to be buying to be profitable. I know exactly. I know our number to within a few pennies of how how much money we need to be making on a product so our company remains profitable at the end of the year and throughout the year. I know that, that number to a, to a T, right? You could just rattle it off and that's something that you as Amazon sellers and third party sellers should be doing. Um, so I hope this was super beneficial. I know every time I do this, I, I do this once a month with our, with our team, with our team of managers because I want everybody to be on the same page and, and what I'll do and what maybe you can do with your team is I'll grab I'll grab a bunch of different products, right? And I'll pull up the seller's app Chrome extension, but I'll hide, I'll put like, I'll pull up the calculator and I'll hide the actual pick and pack fee and, uh, and the referral fee. And I'll just be like, hey, so here's the actual weight. Here's the dimensional weight. We paid 250 for this product. It's listed at 1999. How much money are we making? How much money are we making on this product? And then they, they run the numbers and you know, 99% of the time they're 100% correct because we train them to be 100% correct and it's revolutionized the way we do, do business. So um, to close this out, I'm gonna post one more little snippet of me on the laptop and it's gonna be showing you guys how to locate all this information that we just talked about. So now I'm gonna show you where we find this information. This isn't information I just fabricated or I just learned over the years. This is information that I research on a daily, monthly, yearly basis so I'm aware of the changes and I know that every year Amazon changes its pick and pack fees so right when you start getting used to the pick and pack fees they're gonna switch them up and increase them, possibly create some new tiers. So what we wanna do is in the search bar, everything could be found in the search bar no matter what your question is, it can be found in the search bar. Sometimes you gotta do some keyword searching, plug it in, kind of figure out what exactly it is you're looking for and read deep into it to find the answer. But right now we're gonna do a basic search for fulfillment fees. I'm gonna populate for me because it's something I search frequently and we're gonna click on that. And then like I said in the video, underneath this box here, you wanna click the first option, FBA fulfillment fees. And then you wanna scroll down a little bit to fulfillment fees and click the first option, which is FBA fulfillment fees for amazon.com orders. And now it's super tiny in this screen, so we're going to want to blow this up. And now we're going to have a breakdown of the fee structure for all the different tiers for selling products FBA on Amazon.com. And here is exactly what we just looked at on the whiteboard. It's the standard size product tiers, small standard, 10 ounces or less, all the way up to large standard, three pounds to 21 pounds, which is the category or the tier that the ultimate snack care package fell, fell into. And you can see here it's 241, just like we talked about for 10 ounces or less, small standard. And then over here it's 526 for large standard, three pounds to 21 pounds, 526 for the first three pounds, and then 38 cents for each additional pound after that. And then if you scroll further, they have examples of um, different tiers and different categories and what it costs 
to sell those products and that's definitely some information you want to check out and then they have the oversized product tiers which is what we started off the video with and here you can see like the tree uh, fell into the small oversized 71 pounds or less and where that tree would cost eight dollars and 26 cents for the first two pounds and 38 cents for each additional pound after that and then so on and so forth medium oversized large oversized Um, and then they have some examples of oversized products. And then if you scroll even further, this is super important, right? The FBA dangerous goods program fulfillment fees. So not only does it cost more for you to sell hazmats because I know you have to ship them to a separate facility. I know for us to ship to a separate facility, average cost is right around 150, depending on whether it's aerosol or, or uh, flammable. Um, it varies between the two, but end of the day our average fba product for us to cost per or for us to ship per skew it's about two and a half cents um, per product to ship to amazon and per pound it's right around the same two and a half cents but when we get into the hazmats it's about 150 per product and per pound it's about uh, right around the same 150 so it's exponentially higher for us but something else to keep in mind is that the FBA pick and pack fees are higher as well. For example, this small standard, 10 ounces or less, it's 327 for the dangerous goods program. But for a standard size product, small standard, 10 ounces or less, it's 241. And it just keeps going up from there. And you can see that you're anywhere between 80 cents to what is that 45 cents a little uh, 44 cents uh, difference from you know pick and pack fees for a standard product versus a hazmat product so it's all things to be mindful of and definitely play around with this it tells you right here this is how I calculated the dimensional weight and just pull this out of thin air either Amazon provides it to me and here's the equation length times width times height divided by 139 for dimensional weight and then here it breaks down what Amazon can add for packaging so standard side one pound size uh, one pound or less they add four ounces standard size one pound or more so that's the one pound to 21 pound category that we we're looking at with the ultimate care package four ounces and then oversized and special oversized they can actually add a full pound so this information is super important to understand it's i would definitely dig around in here understand know your pick and pack fees know what you're getting into when you're selling on amazon i hear so many people all the time you know shooting us dms sending us emails uh, talking about how they thought they were going to make money and they didn't make money and then I asked them like well Did you run the numbers? Did you do the math? Did you understand what you're getting into and the answer is usually no, right? But all the information is provided here. So dig around play around with it get to know your business It's super important super grateful to have you watching this YouTube channel Love all you stay grateful stay motivated stay hustling stay optimistic and stay lit. Have a great day everybody